Gyno Rhino. Okay, yeah. you have you, this is your big moment right here. <laughs> We've yeah. been waiting for this all day since you brought it up yep. in the group yeah. chat. So, you said you wanted to talk about your 30 uh, visits to the massage parlor. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know how much it's been. I know it's been more than 20. Now, why do you say 30? Is it 30 because that's just a ballpark number and it's, it's it might yeah. be more, way more than that or it might be it might a little be less? Way, it, may, it might be like way around that one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um... I mean, that's like you, a fucking. That's like a. That's like a NBA season right there, thirty times. It, NBA has thirty eighty two games. Okay, never mind. It's like that's a college basketball season, man. There you go. Um. Sometimes I would go to like like two or three places in one day. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I was like fucking just like a rabbit. Uh -huh. This is before I started like. Like actually like talking to girls and like macking. I'd go and fuck like. The people from there. It was. It's even funny, like how it started. Actually, um, I went to go get a haircut one day from my favorite place, my my lady, where my ladies work, and I noticed like this little. Uh, they give you haircuts there at the massage parlor. No, 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 no. Like my actual, like my barber shop. Like, you know, they're my Asian ladies. Like they gave me a haircut, right? So I was leaving, and I looked next door, and I had never really paid attention, but it said like you know, it said foot massage. This is right next to the massage parlor. Yeah. This this haircut. This, this is like three years ago. Yeah. It, it said foot massage. I was like. Oh, that sounds cool. So I walked in. I was like, "So you wanted that third foot massage?" Time. No, like I just I asked for a massage. I was like, "Hey, how much for a massage?" I thought it was gonna be like the one, like the chairs in the mall. So like, I went in and she's like, "Oh, how much? How much you pay?" I was like, well, "I don't know." I was like, "I've never had a massage before." She goes, "Oh, come in, you know." She asked you <laughs> how much you pay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she she took me to she well, she's like, "Okay, she was the sixty dollars." She's she like, goes, "How much money goes, do you have?" She I goes, know. "How much money?" You she do? goes, "She goes, it's sixty dollars for an hour." I was like, "Okay, cool." I was like, "Yeah, it's gonna be a cool massage, whatever." So she takes me to this room and there's a bed in there. I was like, "Oh, this is one of those ones where you lay down." So I lay down, right? Face down. You have yeah. your your face in that donut hole. Yeah, like they put like napkins and like paper towels and like um, pillows right there. Like, it's it's comfortable. So she's like, oh, go ahead and lay down. I'll come in a little bit. So she came like five minutes later. She walked in. She goes, your clothes are still on. I was like, yeah, it's a massage. Like, they're supposed to be on, right? She goes, no. She goes, it's a full body massage. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know. And at first I was like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, I didn't know they did stuff like that. Like, I thought all that stuff was fake. <laughs> so, like, I took off my clothes, right? I left my boxers on. She goes, no. So she like pulled them down. I was like, okay. You pull your boxers down? Yeah. I was like, okay. While you're while you're facing her? Yeah. You're like standing, while you're yeah. laying down. I, I was standing up. Okay. So then I laid down. I was like, whatever. Now and when she pulled them down, like she followed the boxers downwards, so her face like ended up. Oh, she being tugged. Right. Like she like tugged them. I was like, oh okay. Oh, like, okay. She gestured it basically. So then I did it, and um, no, it was cool. Like everything was going good. Like I wasn't like really like responding to anything. I was like. I was like, I think, I was like, it's supposed to tickle. In my head, I was like, oh, it's supposed to tickle, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then, like, I noticed, like, she was, like, just, like, rubbing my balls. I was like, okay. You know, like, she was, like, she was, like, a pleasure in me. I was like, this is nice. And then she's, like, turn around. So I was like, okay. So I put the towel on. And obviously, you know, like, my dick's hard. She's like, oh, she goes, that's big. I was like, <laughs> yeah. She's like, you want me to take care of it? I was like, go ahead, massage it. She goes, okay. So she put her mouth on it. Well, she put a condom on it. She put her mouth on it. And she started sucking it. And it was like 40 bucks what? extra. It was cool, dude. And that's the first time. Did she time make you aware of the of what you're paying? Like she said, oh, this is going to cost you 45 bucks. Or it was just yeah. like. She goes, 40. You I found like, out afterwards. No, like like halfway through it. <laughs> yeah. So she was like, $45. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, $10. Yeah, cool, $20. Like, it was like 10 minutes. The price minutes, going up. She's like, she, was like, she was like, oh, you're stubborn. She goes, this is $40. I was like, okay. Or whatever. So, I, so that's the first time like that happened. And then from there, I was like, I wonder if you could do more. So the next time I went, it ended up happening. And then from then on out, like I just kept going to different places. But I was, that was my favorite place. So, um... <laughs> Like right before they closed, maybe like three months before they closed, um, I met a girl over there. And it was a Mexican girl, because it was always Asian girls. But at this particular time, they had like white girls and Mexican girls there. So, Price difference? No, it's the same, but they speak English. Oh, nice. So they know more. Yeah. So. It was easy to explain to them. Very awesome. Yeah. So, like, um. um oh, he's trying to hide his boner. I think that's what it is. <laughs> that um, could be possible. Possibly. Right. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got this Mexican girl. Well, this is the first Mexican girl. And, like, man, she was fucking fine, you know? 
And I'm like rubbing her pussy and all this shit while she's like jacking me off. And I was like, get on the bed. So I, she went on the bed and like I started massaging her. Uh-huh. And she's like, this is nice. This never happened. So I, I put my dick by her mouth. I was like, this is going to be $40. You <laughs> know, she started laughing. You know, she didn't suck it, obviously, but I tried. Uh-huh. So then the next time I went, I was like, I want that girl again. But she wasn't there. So I got a different girl. And this girl was like, hella cool. Like, she was chill. Like, she was, I, I didn't really, like, want to do anything. I was like, because, like, she spoke English, so that made it a little weird for me. And she was cute, so I was, like, being nice or whatever. And I was like, um, take your shirt off. She, so she took it off, right? And she's like, I don't do this. I was like, yeah, that's cool. And, like, we started clicking, like, left and right. And I got her number. So I ended up hitting her up, like, a week later because I had the house to myself. And she came over. I was like, oh, you going to give me a massage? She's like, yeah. So she came over, and we fucked. Like, two days, like, straight, we just, like, fucked, like, for hours. It was tight, dude. It was it was cool. Like, I had to carry her to the car because she could not walk, dude. It was badass. Like, I'm, you know, then that's when I really broke out of my shell and I, I started talking to, like, a bunch of girls. Like, not, not massage parlor girls. Like, I was going out. I was, like, talking to girls. Like, it was fucking cool, dude, because I felt like I had so many fucks under my belt. And pulling that girl, like, out of that situation, like, I had her. I had her for, like, weeks, like. It was chill, dude. I was like that. That that's when my pimp game became real strong, you know. Uh huh. Like, it was cool. And then, like, since there, like, I weaned myself off of them because I was going like two times, three times a month. Like every check, I was going. It was cool. But like now, I don't hit them up anymore because. Well, do, do they lock the room that you're in, or is there like some sort of like escape route? Is there like a, a like a, no. a trap door or some sort of no, false what door it is, behind? Is when, when like things, a bookcase. Well, I mean, because these places, these places have to be raided, like, every now and then, right? Or, like, <laughs> Yeah, the, my favorite place got shut down. They got raided and they got busted. Were you ever arrested? No, nah, I don't do anything legal, man. <laughs> of course you don't. Man. Exactly. Everything's legal with the perfect amount of money. I thought about that, and I was just, like, you, I lose my job. Like, you be, you're labeled as, like, uh, what happens to you? Become a sex... Uh, not a sex offender, but... Well, yeah, that's what? become something. Well, no, well, you get caught well, for that's like prostitution. Uh huh. So that's like a huge offense. Like you, I think you can do time. Can't Bro, you? I think my what my dick did to them is a huge offense. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> so you wouldn't do that? Would you do that still? You wouldn't no, do that? No, no, I don't do it anymore. It's not because you get caught. Because uh, I guess they're cracking down on it now. No, they're really cracking down. Not on at all. I'm um, sorry. It's more for the fact I'm just trying to save money. And honestly, like, I don't even need it anymore because I talk to, like, so many other girls. It's like, there's always an option to fuck now, which is pretty cool. Uh-huh. Because that's all that was. Like, I was bored, you know? Like, I had nothing to do. I didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't have my own place, so it's not like I could have girls come over. So I went and I fucked wherever I could. It's pretty cool. Oh. Now we're, the we're... massages were actually really good, though, too. Like, you got... Like, there was times I got, like, actual massages. And, man... Like these tiny ass little women, fuck, they walk on my back. I swear they're doing backflips, bro. Like, man, like it felt so good. Like, like I want tiny to... women that can just like fit in suitcases and stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, like those type of women. That yeah, can fit like in, it's like, crazy, dude. Tiny box. Their hands are like all strong and shit. <laughs> and now I'm actually attracted to like the old Asian women. Like when I'm at work and I see like an old you Asian woman walking, I would. No, but did you? Yeah. You fucked an old Asian lady? Well, she was, she was maybe like 35, 36. It was cool. There was, there was a well, place. She's not old. There was this place. Uh, I don't want to say the location, but I had found out about this place. I went. See, the thing is, when you go to places, you don't know what they are. Sometimes they give you full service. Sometimes they just give you a hand job. Sometimes they don't do anything. So I was there and not even 10 minutes into it. She flipped me over. She goes, it's 100 bucks to fuck. I was like, okay. So I went to the ATM, put out my money, I went in, she was naked, put the condom on, and just fucked her for about half an hour. It was cool. Yeah. Now wait, you how old was she again? Like 35, 36. Did you put, uh, did you just slide right in? Was she ready or did you have to like kind of do some stuff? No, no, she had They lube. got oils on hand. They have, right? oils? They have the, yeah. little, the little lubricant belt. They, <laughs> like it's all, they have like the Batman like belt, but for lubes and fucking. They have that? They have, they have it on a, a dresser. By the way, like those getting rubbed down with oils, it's the sexiest thing I've ever like encountered. Like, have you ever had a Nuru massage? A what? Like Nuru? Like does, no. your girlfriend like doesn't do that for you? Uh uh-uh. uh. It's badass, dude. What is that? It's basically Explain like it to us. it's it's just it's a naked massage between the two of you guys. So like, 
she puts oils on her and you and like she massages you but she's naked and she's sliding up and down it's a sexual massage without any sex Dude, yeah they're just like rubbing together like you guys are just like well she's massaging like, you guys are like body. like twins just that just came out of the womb kind of you're, like no, you guys you're have not doing natural anything. juices <laughs> you're not doing anything you're laying there and receiving whatever she's doing to you uh-huh it's amazing <laughs> it's like a human slip and slide huh <laughs> yeah like that's that up and down that's a good way to put it i gotta try this uh, yeah like, you, you yeah. definitely do go buy the oils I went to the sex shop um, right here by the by the college, and man, they have some great stuff there, dude. Like it's it's hella cool. Mm -hmm. Like it's like it's super duper cool. They have all kinds of lubes and oils. Like like oil makes massages great. So that's something you should consider, like with your partner. You ever he use... wants to go down on you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he needs something. My tiny little hole in his big cock. Yeah, we need help. <laughs> Do you, do you do you use KY like regularly? No. Like I mean not KY specifically, but do you use like lubes? when I have sex? Yeah. No. No. No, they provide a lubricant. I, I just. I, I figure that's on. something you need later on in life. Maybe I mean it depends. Like, so <clears throat> I met up with a friend yesterday, and she's a mom now, and we were talking, and uh, she was tripping out, I guess, like about how I know, like she asked me like about my sex life, so I told her, she was you fuck like moms, I was like. Yeah, she goes, can I ask you something? She's like, is it different? I was like, it's better. I don't know what it is, it's just, I think. You feel like a little, like, arm up there or something, like a little leg? I told like, her, I was like, got abortions I was stuff. like, it's like, I have a mouth sucking me off in there. Uh -huh. No, I'm kidding, I sort of like, it's, it's, <laughs> wow. it's a different feeling. And she was telling me, <laughs> she was like, and she asked me, because that girl, when I fucked her two years ago, she was 30. That's At that point, that was like the oldest girl I had been. How old are you at the time? 22, 23. Uh -huh. She was like, did she have any problems? I was like, no. I was like, I just lived right in and I went to town. Uh -huh. You know? And she was she was actually, she goes, I'm afraid that, now she's like, now that I'm a mom, she's I'm getting older, she was, I'm afraid that's going to happen. I was like, if you're having problems, I was like, it's because you're not, you're not uh, being uh, warmed up enough. That's basically what it comes down to, you know? Uh -huh. So you don't need the lubricants if you're willing to be patient. Now, if you're like trying to hurry up, then... By all means, like go and get them. But if yeah. you're if it's taking a long time to get turned on, try something different or mm -hmm. take your time. Don't rush it. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's nice to just be teased for an hour. Yeah, just fucking pour some olive oil on your dick or something. <laughs> some, no, just some well, Italian dressing or something. No, fry an egg and then put the, salad. Fry fry an egg and then pour that pour that grease on your dick. Fuck, <laughs> I like that. This guy's into some crazy shit. We got MCF over here just like sitting quietly, like mm -hmm. laughing. I'm just listening, looking at his face. All right, let's move on to something else. That's all the questions you had for him? That's it, yep. That's all. Do you have any questions for me about anything like that? Mm, let me think, let me think real quick. Uh, oh, let, me, let me throw this in, by the way. Um, BTW? In BT Dub, um, every time I get like a hand job or blow job, or, like fuck, they would get tired because I don't come quick. They're like, oh, you're too strong. I'm like, I know. You're too strong? Like, well, like, oh, you're too strong. Are you stubborn? I'm like, you know, you know, come quick. I know. The girls like it. And they laughed they're like, hey, you know. Like, hey, you got to go quick. I'm like, no, nah, it's cool. I paid for an hour. <laughs> so do you think, now, is that something that I could be like, I could lower the price on that? Because I, I could be like, hey, I come really fast. It would be the easiest. Like, she says 40. I say 25. And I say, it'll be the easiest 25 bucks you ever made. I'll, I go... I go fast. No. Boom, volcano go no. fast. No. Huh? No, they're sorry. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're like... <laughs> Volcanoes take forever to erupt. Just so you Not know. this one. <laughs> yeah, we're... <laughs> <laughs> no. Ash, Ash, the, in, the game is changing. They're, they're starting to, like, become more strict and greedy with their money. Because like they know they have people they're charging. Wanting. They're charging more. Like, yeah. stuff that used to cost 40 bucks is, like, $95 now. Like, it's crazy. Damn. Because they know people really want it. And then yeah. where else are they going to go? Yeah. Uh, wait, I had one more question as far as disposal of that white sticky stuff that comes out of you. Where would it go? Would you just blow it on her face? Would she swallow it? Would in the condom. Just on the floor? Oh, the condom. The condom. And then they, they take you a shower. They take you a shower? Yeah. What do you mean? They give you a shower, you mean? Yeah, like they give you a shower, it's cool. They bring the shower to you. <laughs> no, they they, they, uh, they have a roof that opens with a waterfall. Who takes off the uh, condom? She does. Yeah? Yeah, they, they do everything, like it's crazy. That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, hold on, I gotta take a piss of you guys. Yeah. Wow, he has to take a piss of you guys. Oh, sorry.
Yeah, what's going on? What else are we gonna talk about? All uh, the questions I had about your cum. I think Armageddon. The other day, actually, you brought up something pretty, pretty. Uh, I brought up today, not the well, other we day. we were hanging out the other day. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's been on my mind. Um, that porn star. I don't know her name. Uh, Tracy Lords. Tracy yeah. Lord or Tracy Lords? I'm not sure. That's the one that you said like did all of her porn before she was 18. <clears throat> she did her whole portfolio before the age of 16. So she lied to the industry about before her age. Before she was 16? I mean, before she was 18. <laughs> before, she lied 16. Before, before she was born? Huh? Before she was yeah. born? She did everything. I, she only did one film uh, when she was over the age of 18. Did she die? No, she's still alive. Does she have AIDS? Did she serve any jail know. time? Nope. Did the producers? Mm -hmm. That, that... Like that was like a, a one of a kind thing. So they had like no blueprint or they had no like idea of how to handle it. Like it just it slipped through the cracks and it's like, well, we fucked up. Like, you know, there's nothing that could be done about it. Well, it's, it's like, like what happened happened, and it's like they find. I don't know if they found out years later. I really don't know much about it at all. But so why'd you bring it up? Huh? Just did interesting. It or it's interesting. Things do slip through the cracks, I guess. You know. Uh -huh. I mean, but now it's now it's much harder to do that stuff, you know. You crack slip through the cracks. <laughs> cracks slip that possible? Cracks. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can lose your ass crack. <laughs> cement, like where it's cracked. Like, can you guys take a guy's ass crack and then put another guy's ass crack in his crack? <laughs> <laughs> slip through that crack. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that looked like. I picture it's like sewing two asses together, like back to back. Well, crack to crack, I guess. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, did you have any more thoughts on did you, uh, Tracy Lord? Yeah, did you watch any of it? Mm -mm. Yeah, fuck you did, no. You no, I did. Diesel. Fuck that, dude. I'm dirty good. little fuck. Uh -oh. Dirty probably blew your load in your condom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know they why showed it. Me, they the showed it to me at the massage parlor, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I had no choice, dude. <laughs> Halfway through it, she was like forty dollars. The option was taken away from me. Have you guys? Do you guys jerk off with like a condom? Have you guys ever done that? No, I, I've done I it barely, once. I barely have sex with a condom on. I've once. done that when I was like younger. But my dick is already. I mean, my foreskin is already like a condom. It's like a turtle shell. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. It, it carries moisture in it like pretty much all day it's around. Gross. <laughs> so it, it has like the latex, like the slimy feel to it. Slime tex. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, cause that's the reason why I used a condom when I jerked off is cause I wanted that lubrication to it. I guess I missed. Plus, I just had a, I had that condom for a longest time. It was one of those wallet condoms, mm. the ones that you've had for like so many yeah. years. That you like never years, use. never used. And I was you like, kept fuck it. In your it. I, look I have to give this condom an honorable death. Like eventually, I had to put it to rest. Wait, when did you do this? <sighs> it might have been like. A few years ago, I was just bored, and like I, I think I had thrown my wall. I threw my wallet on the ground, and like everything just came out of it. How long did and you I have your condom? Since I first got a boner. He's like, <laughs> he's like your pet. Yeah. When you were yeah. like two years old or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was all discolored and everything. It was like uh, like a receipt that the just became white. The you ever had a receipt in your wallet so long that all the wording comes off? The wrapper. And it's just a white paper now. The rapper said Fisher Price. <laughs> <laughs> it had a clearance sticker on it all of a sudden. Mmm. That was good. What are you drinking? <laughs> that is good. Dutch Bros. Well, like, what'd you get from there? Fucking sugar, poison. An annihilator. That's basically what he just described right there. Annihilator? <laughs> Not are we getting? Hey, you know what, dude? Your friend the other day made me laugh so hard. Why? He goes... This guy pisses me off. He goes because he works out the same fucking muscle over and over, and he doesn't want to work out other parts. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's me, weird. Me and this guy just looked at each other. That was the funniest thing ever. I don't know if, it's, if gravity is getting heavier. It's like getting stronger. But like literally, I'm doing the same exercise, the same one I've been doing forever, a thousand push-ups. Yeah. And it doesn't get easier for me. Yeah, if anything, it, if anything, muscle. it gets harder. Because you're, you're tearing the same muscle. Yeah, it feels you're, like my muscles disintegrating. Like it's, I'm just doing damage to my shocked, body. Dude. No, well, yeah, because your body, it's not, you need to do something else. Uh-huh. I figured, like, my body would get things. used to it, and you'd be like, all right, we know what's up. Like, we that, fucking, we, exactly we get the routine. That's exactly what's happening. Like, that's exactly what's happening to uh -huh. the point where it's not, you're not uh, excelling anymore. You're not healing either. I, I mean, I do it every other day, and I don't feel any soreness to it. Yeah. It's just while I'm doing it, it's like, fuck, it's a struggle. Probably Hell of a struggle. Too. You know when you're bored, or, like, you're, like, just 
Dumb my, yeah, my mind is. I think it's more mental, if anything. Like I dread it now when yeah. I think about doing it. Yeah, you're pretty fucking. But like the satisfaction of doing it is like so fucking worth it. It's like oh, I feel so good afterwards. It's not even to me doing it now. It's, it's not even like what? based off of like looking a certain way. Now it's just like feeling good. Hmm. But I fucking despise it. I hate doing it. <laughs> Why don't you uh, like do something else, like a thousand pumps before you come? You gotta do a thousand just of those. Do some, uh, do some dumbbell curls or something. And I guarantee you, when you come back to your push-ups, you're gonna be, yeah, you're gonna you, be even better. Do your 15 curls. You'd be sore for like three days, like you were last time. I know, time. dude. I was sore. That was hella funny. 15 curls. He did 15 curls. He did like 20. On what? But he was sore. We went to um. Ghost his ghost house to play video games a while back, uh-huh. and he curled like just a little bit, and like he was dead the next day. It was hella funny. Ghost has curl things. Yeah. Uh, what I wasn't doing normal normal curls. Like he had my curls. he he wanted my arm like extended out all the way like yes. past my hip, and then I had to come up like that. Mm. It's so fucking hard, dude. We're at the gym. I was doing with twenty five pounds, and I was like, he's always telling me go heavier. He goes, that's nothing for you. But I feel it, and then today I was like, he's right. So I started using 30 pound ones, and that five pounds makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm thinking of just like, you, you just, just want to run now. Like, that's all I want to do is run. And then oh, yeah. fuck up your knees. And just get like, I mean, you're going to fuck up anything regardless. But still, I think running does, I think running would do better for me. Well, like, you're just overall, gonna, especially you're if I'm just your, flexing. You can lose your stuff. My gains, huh? Yeah. Are oh, you going to be really slender and skinny? Like, uh, you're going to be slender, skinny. Man. Yeah, you're going to be... Uh, but you know what's going to happen is that you're going to be really slender or uh, lean. Your muscles are going to pop more. But you're going to be smaller. But you're, you're going to be more cut. I mean, I should retain smaller. I should retain some muscle mass, right? I mean, I should keep something. It depends. It's not all going to go to waste. It depends on how much fat you actually have on that muscle. Do some push. Keep doing your little push. Don't do a well, thousand push-ups, but do like a good a amount. A thousand miles, dude. A <laughs> thousand miles. But also, if wait, what are you trying to do? Lose weight? Yeah. Kind of? Oh, well, obviously running is good. But obviously, it has trying to lose my fanny pack right here. Yeah, all you gotta work that out. My burger fanny pack. All it is is my fanny diet. pack of fucking tacos. That though, you gotta work that out, bro. So I wish you, there's a fucking machine that can just like I don't know, just fucking work out all my muscles, <laughs> like some sort of like Bowflex shit, or it's like it just does it for you. Yeah, but none of those things fucking work. Just have sex every day for like five hours. A day. You know how. You know how I know none of those things ever work, like those things on the infomercials, like all those fucking working out apparatuses? Mm -hmm. It's because you never see them in a gym. If they worked, if they were literally like legit like exercising machines, wouldn't they be in the fucking gym? Yeah, wouldn't you no. see them in the gym? Not that would legitimize them, right? No, not necessarily. No? It's just for people to... That, no, that, that's more for people that just don't have the time to go down to the gym. Well, let's be honest, it's for dumb people who just want to like... I don't Jeez. think it's dumb. I mean, it's well, they're preying on people's uh, success stories. No, no, they're preying on like how bad do these lazy people want a shortcut? And yeah. come on, that's a lot of people that want a shortcut, basically. Yeah, but I mean, if you read the fine print on the things, like it tells you, like you have to diet, you have to be like on an eight, ten week program, like you still have to run. Like if you look at all the fine print, it says this does not do it all by itself. Yeah, but nobody reads anything. No reads fine but that, that, that's that's their fault. That's what I'm telling you, Daniel. Is that if you actually want to lose weight, running's not actually going to do much for you. You just have to diet. You just have to put the right stuff in your body, and you'll lose the poundage like that. Put and then the, running will compound it. Put the right dick in there. Put the right looking sausage in your stomach. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Get the sausage, roll it up, get, you know, just get the sausage up in there and stir it all about. Get I need to find a fucking, I need to find a male massage parlor. Okay. Where are those at? Holla. Holla. That's a good You question. should start your own massage parlor. Since you already know the ins and out of how it works, how, <laughs> how to fucking not get caught. You should be like a fucking male gigolo or something. European and just stickle. serve dick all day, hot steamy dick, dick, lathered up and fucking charge like 150 eel slime for one minute. Whatever is Japanese eel slime. How many girls are actually gonna show up to that? A lot, dude. Girls? If you have a big ass cock, and if you can find other guys who have big ass cock, right here, holla. It's just gonna be. I thought about that. What about the medium sized guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, you can have a variety of dicks, an assortment. Mm, the girls don't. You can girls have a scale. You, you you would have a, a big know. diagram of dicks. They don't care about that. You'd they're have a little, big diagram of dicks on the wall. Though. Yeah. And then it would be like the sizes would go up. 
like an evolutionary chart and it would be like my dick at the very first one and it'd be like Alex I mean it'd be uh <laughs> it'd be, you know, it'd be Mida. and yours would be the yours would be the last one it, they would be like god I thought those type of dicks were extinct yours would be like a woolly mammoth or something <laughs> you know it's I mean? all pointy as a, <laughs> <laughs> a spear they're called woolly mammoths I woolly? think so yeah because yeah. they're woolly with mammoths <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> um, come on, man. How many? Is there any male massage partners? I don't know. I went to one. I don't know. You would know. I went to one. Are there? Wait, How, how's there, your there, search been going? There, there's there's co-ed ones. Can't find anything. Like there's co-ed. Like I went to one and uh, this girl took me, but like there was this girl that walked in, like a guy like took her to a room, like to massage her. So like that, yeah, they have those. Huh. I want a massage, like not even the fucking dick sucking. No, like an actual one massage, massage. like a real one, like a yeah. legit. Uh, That's why I want to go to the ones in the mall because, like, it's a little chair. You sit there, like they rub your back, they like karate chop you. But then like, everybody's there, like people are so? just walking past you. Who cares? Yeah, I want someone to give me a massage, and by the time they're done, they're like a fucking black belt, like a fifth degree black belt. <laughs> like I want them to do, like you said, karate chops and fucking kicks on my back fucking and spitting heel kicks. His, yeah, everything, dude. Like yeah. I want them to come out of the room fucking with the. Like five black belts are on their waist. My second favorite place, like, and it was legit, like, legit massages. The lady, like, they had, like, this curtain rod on top, on the roof. She grabbed the curtain to get balance, and then she'd walk on my back. <laughs> it was cool. Like, it was awesome. Cool. Like, that's why I said, I was like, are you doing, like, back clothes back there? Like, so, did you ever get, like, a legitimate massage where yeah, it's, like, like none of, of the times, fucking yeah, sexual like, things a lot happen? Of times, like, it's, it's awesome, dude. Like, you get an hour and a half when you fall asleep. Dude, an hour and a half? It's tight. Yeah, it's Man. amazing. When you get up, do you like piss and shit yourself? <laughs> when I get up, I just don't want to go home. Like, Why I wish I could live there. No, because what do you, I mean, I would imagine you're so relaxing and your body's so like, <laughs> it's just, yeah. it loses all like normal That's what the restraints and you just walk up and you fucking well, empty your bladder what, and what your bowels and you're just like. Yeah, they give you like three or four water bottles because you get dehydrated. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, can you tell them, like, hey, can you so use nice. soft pressure? Or, like, yeah. Massage? Oh, yeah. They'll tell you. But, I mean. Because I can't handle massages. To be honest, like, I have, like, my shoulders, especially, like, they're big as shit. So, like, I tell them, go as hard as you can. I'm, like, How big are they? 45 inches wide? <laughs> no, not like that. 90 inches deep? I don't know. What's your wingspan at, bro? What's your wings? What kind, kind, of, kind of wings you got? Can you fly? I got. Huh? Got, uh, Southwest. V set 900 wings. <laughs> Southwest <laughs> Airlines. Hey, are those wings coach or first class? <laughs> they're they're, <one. laughs> That's they're first class wings. How big? Are, no, really, like, look, describe your shoulders. Tell the lovely ladies listening. <laughs> I don't know, man. They're just. They're, they're like real. Grapefruit? Like grapefruits? There's people that are taller than me, and my shoulders are where their shoulders are at. Uh huh. <laughs> so, <laughs> what? That makes no like, like, do, do your shoulders make up, like, an entire, like, NFL D-line? Like, just huge as fuck? Like, your two defenders? Like, you got two defenders, like, right, you got one defender to your right, one defender to your left. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're big. Oh, like, yeah. each shoulder gets, yeah, like, one huge. guy. Yeah, huge. Yeah, I guess so. So, what, what are you saying there? Like, how hard are your shoulders, though? Like, can I crack a coconut on your shoulder? <laughs> you Could I? Can you put a coconut between your, your neck and your shoulder and just... Ooh, that's tight. I've like, never tried that. I mean, that's more like so. Like, how strong is my neck now? Could you drink your shoulder like a coconut? Like, could you get a little knife or like a little exacto knife, hollow out a little hole, stick a straw through your shoulder, and drink the contents <laughs> of your body through it? Could you do that? <laughs> <laughs> could you do that? <laughs> that sounded cool. I actually want to see that now. Uh, I want it. I want that animated. You want I, was, I was. You know what? Actually, I was just thinking. I remember you told me the other day, like a couple weeks ago, that I should really think about like maybe writing an anime because like the way my mind works. I told you that. Yeah. Dude, I don't remember. I just speaking you, of that, I watched uh, your old videos, like one of your your first ones on your channel, the balloon one, the yeah. ice cream, dude. Wow. I remember that. Does funny, your mind uh, still work that way? Yeah. Probably works better, huh? Yeah. Dude, if you did shit like that, like, man, that would be that would be fucking awesome. Well, now I kind of have an idea for like. Even that shit was haunting, dude. Now that I think about it, that's a fucking that's a haunting story. Yeah, I mean, I remember like when I made it. Just my whole perspective was like, 
That that has to correlate with something that you're going through or something that was happening. Yeah, to my, the ice yeah. cream dude, he died. Yeah, the little what was it? The little boy, the little ice cream the little boy. Cone, yeah, the whole dude. perspective was. Uh, I don't need ice cream anymore. Fuck that, dude. Go on, tell me. Dad, dad, <laughs> son, what are you, my son? He had a really thick Mexican accent, if you couldn't tell. No, I couldn't. Yeah, he did. Um, yeah, no, I remember when I made that. Um, just what I was thinking was. There's there's different ways of living, and just because we're alive doesn't mean other things aren't. That makes sense. You know, like... Because some people believe that actual objects have memory. Like, memories are put into certain objects or, like, vibes. That's why when, when someone goes to a place where, like, all these fucking, like, great artists have come before them, let's say, like, a certain theater, like... Or like Elvis Presley you performed there are our, our, our little Richie. They feel it. They feel it yeah. on the stage. That I, spot where they stood, they're like, Man, I, feel, I like feel something here. Every object has energy, which I mean it has to have because it's an object, like it exists in a shape in any type of way. So I mean like I said just what I like I said I was like fifteen, sixteen when I made that, but I always I always thought to myself like there's more than just us. And I thought it was funny to like put that in perspective of the balloon flying away and like the ice cream dying, you know, like <laughs> it, it's weird, but I mean, that's just the way I thought about it. Yeah. But now I do have an idea for an anime now. It sounds kind of cool. Um, I want to be like the, the angel of death. I think that'd be a cool anime. Basically just a doctor. It's an anime about, you know, you know who the angel of death is, right? Like during uh, World War II when Hitler, they had the... um. They had the um, the was it training camps, the um, the killing. Uh, fuck, what are they, what's it called? Concentration camps. Con- concentration camps. The gulags. Yeah. yeah, like the angel of death. I forgot his name. I forgot his real name. But basically, he had a fascination with twins. So he would get the twins and he'd run tests on them. So like he'd cut like like mm. one twin's ear off to see if the other twin could feel it, or he he'd get one twin sick and another one like sick from a different thing and separate them from miles and see like if they'd survive like it's just crazy like he he did so much fucking things to all those kids that's what they call the angel of death uh-huh. so i was thinking maybe like an anime like that like not kids obviously but like how you said like stick a straw like through your uh, shoulder to see if you can to drink like a coconut like <laughs> that'd be like a like a mad sickening anime it's, it can only be like 10 episodes but it's like it's just this guy that's doing something more and more sick to the same person over and over and then the person finally dies and then He's like, I need a new victim, and then it ends. It's pretty yeah. cool. And it's going to be set in that same time of World yeah. War Two. No, no, no. It's going to be set in present day. But everything he does to that victim is because he sees something in his everyday life that he wonders what it would be like. So he can see like a little girl walking across the street, and she barely avoids getting hit by a car. So that can correlate. Like That could be like half the episode right there. So he goes back into like his room where he has like his victim. And he goes and like he creates like a metal glove, you know, that's like titanium like a car. And he cracks, he just keeps hitting her powers over and over and over and over to see the pain that that little girl would have felt. To see, but it's like right in front of him. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be like dark as shit, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's you know what we should do? Get really a dark. victim and then put a smartphone in their stomach and see if you could answer a phone call through his stomach. Like by socking the stomach? Yeah, like punching it. Like in the you movies? stick your your finger in his belly button and then like fish Easy. around for the phone. Yeah. To, or see if you can watch a movie. Yeah, try to turn it on. <laughs> or you know what would be cool? Get a smartphone and like put it into the guy's like foreskin and see if it's usable. Like you could, that'd be cool. You could pull your foreskin up and watch like Castaway with Tom Hanks like from your foreskin. That's pretty cool. Would that make it into your thing? You think? Yeah, but we could do whatever. But oh, you guess, know what would be cool? Get a smartphone, it... stick it in his ear, and then he can, like, touch it. What about that? <laughs> that well, see, that'd be cool. Cause, like, I mean, yeah, not just a smartphone. That, that's cool, because, like, he'd be, like, a college guy that's in a class, <laughs> and the professor, like, keeps kicking out people for talking on their phones. Mm-hmm. So, finally, he gets he goes on to his victim. He's like, do you guys like talking on your phones? Interrupting my learning. I'm paying for my education. Yo, blah blah blah. He gets all mad, mm-hmm. and he just sticks. The, he gets the cell phone, and, like hammers it in that person's ear. <laughs> and he dark. keeps calling it over and over and over, and it's like it, bur- it bursts the eardrum because it's so loud inside there. <laughs> would that be something like you think people would watch? Yeah, I think so. 
I think something crazy, dark, grim. That'd be the darkest anime of all time. Yeah, might be. Might be. Would you watch that? What? The anime I just made? With the iPhone in fucking weird places <laughs> in your body? No, no, well, well I was saying, like, basically how he does, he just does bad things, like, to his victim. Oh, hell yeah. But it's all based off events that are happening in his life. It's like the phone. I was talking, I was like, that could like, make a good story. Like, he's, he's a college guy, right? Or he, maybe he's even a professor, and, like, he keeps kicking people off for using their phones in class. So finally he goes on to his victim and he goes, Do you guys like to use your fucking phones? Interrupting my class, my study, my profession. While here, have your damn phone. He, like, just hammers in that person's ear. And, like, it, he keeps calling it. It's like the vibrations and the ringtone, like, burst the eardrum. Yeah, like, that'd be cool. Like, that, that's a cool episode right there. Fuck. That's crazy. No, what would be cool is if it wasn't that person who did that was inspired by him. Like this person, he's, he's submitting these videos like online and then people are watching them. And it's like, it's really like speaking to certain people. And so that They're teacher ends up see seeing him. It. Yeah. Speak and that more. teacher ends up seeing it and he just ends up acting out like, and he ends up doing that to one of his students. So that teacher fucking, you know, gets yeah. arrested for murder. But that killer, he's still doing sick shit. Like in some sort of secret location. He's well, the uploading these videos. Or he's, a, or he's a student, I'm not sure yet. Okay. But either way, I get what you're saying, that works. No, that works, but like, do you think people would watch this? Oh yeah, of course. Hell I think yeah. it'd be the darkest anime of all time. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, dude. That'd be like hentai shit. It'd be darker than hentai. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's some, that's some crazy shit, dude. Yeah, I just gotta think of a name that's now. some crazy shit, my doggy. And I gotta think of people to draw it. I mean, I can do the stick figure models, but... <laughs> 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 Only if I could get a phone in there and like put it in, you know, like you know what I mean, like you know what I mean, like get the iPhone app and like put it in this guy's eye or something, you know, the eye eye, or like get this guy right, put him in the <laughs> dentist chair, you know, take out all of his teeth and replace every single tooth with a smartphone. That's just my thing, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's so like, he has to like lick his back more to like answer the phone. He's like, hello, yeah, and then to like end the call, he has to like lick like. His other molar on the other side? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And like it's his grandma. You get what, you get what we're saying, Gato? Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> like you guys really like like my like where I want to go with it. Hell yeah, dude. But well, I like dude. my direction about the smartphones everywhere. Well, we can do that. That's, that's, that's doable. And you know what's cool is that he lives in a smartphone house. Like his house is a phone. And his shoes, they're smartphones. His hey, wears a hat? It's a smartphone. Has an umbrella, it rains. It's raining smartphones. And he's got the umbrella, it's a smartphone. He opens up. It's pretty sick, huh? His hair, he took out all his hair, all his follicles, he replaced it with smartphones. <laughs> That's all over him. Fucking dope. He dude. just has a hair app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think? There's potential for everything. Thanks, man. Your true pal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I just gotta think of a name for it. I think I Smartphone. Might... <laughs> I think I might call the Love Doctor to like to throw people off. The Love Doctor. Nobody wanna watch it because of the title and like what the hell, like this guy's insane. Mm hmm What'd you Bro, guys Bro, write it, dude. I just did. <laughs> that's not that's just the big picture. Oh I wrote it, I just gave you guys like three episodes worth. All I need to do is write seven more. Oh, what about the stuff in between? Like, what's the opening scene? Opening scene, interior, uh, what's going on? The, the opening interior? scene, it's, uh, it's basically, it's the, it's the girl tied up, and it just shows, like, him, like, ha hitting her, ha her hand with a hammer over and over. He's hitting her hand with a hammer? And he gets a little piece of skin, like the hangnail skin, and he peels it all the way, and it peels all the way to the top of her skull. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the opening scene. <laughs> Are you serious? And then at the end of it, like he pours acid down from the top of her head down that cut, like a water slide. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. The, the oncologist follows the, the fucking yeah. the line that was yeah. like peeled off. Oh yeah. shit! It's so funny. And that's just the <laughs> see, but that leads to a greater thing. So at the end of this, at the end of the season or the series, she has so many cuts and wounds on her that. All these slits, he's able to put the smartphones in her. <laughs> See? Well, yeah, there you go. Wow. Well, that's fucking tight, dude. Uh, I'm already imagining the fucking description for this episode. Dude, Are you, you the open name, up? Something, it's going to do something with the iPhone. I already know. Yeah, dude, and he puts little hinges so that her brain opens like a little door, like a hatch, and guess who's in there? <laughs> An iPhone? Oh. 
Steve we, Jobs, we, little we, mini we Steve could, Jobs. We can name this there. episode the iPhone, the iPhone massage parlor anime. There you go, dude. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking. I love that, my doggy. Yeah, you're using your noodles. <laughs> Damn, that's awesome. We have How long, where are we at right now? Uh, 42 minutes. All right, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, going, dude. I like how you like just kept laughing at that. Like, are you laughing because it's funny or like because it's a great description? <laughs> just, it's funny to me. Like, went from the hangnail. So he rips from the hangnail all the way up the arm and up to her skull. Mm-hmm. And then he fucking pours acid <laughs> down. No, he said alcohol, dude. He said acid. Uh, acid. Oh, acid. Okay. Fucking <laughs> acid. Down like a water slide all the way and then into she, like her back to yeah. her. But then she has a she has a positive reaction to it and she ends up becoming like Bane. Hey, and then it pops you know, out. You know, you know Bane. Oh, he's yeah, but no, 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 no. She, she's just a Fuck victim. She's it, not. Yeah. <laughs> no, hold on. It comes out like a water slide, right? And it comes water. out and it's like wild water. It's a commercial for wild water. <laughs> wild waters. <laughs> wild waters. Or it's like the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. <laughs> it's number one something spot. Boardwalk. Hey, can you see me your song again? <laughs> What's uh, the sardine song? I mean, the the word the some kind of magazine song. <laughs> I used to. Uh, this is my own song that I made up. I procured it myself. Like this came straight from the dome. This is gonna be on my anime. Straight from the dome piece. It's a theme song. Nice. Yo, I was 16. I used to read a certain magazine. I grew up watching Nickelodeon and the, as a preteen. <laughs> this is uh, that's all I got so that's, far. That's pretty badass. Yeah, the certain magazine uh, it was like O magazine. Yeah. O magazine. Yeah, Oprah magazine. Yeah, which I really that's like one of my favorite magazines. <clears throat> that's my song. Speaking of Nickelodeon, you guys know the the dude. Who's, hold the, on, who's hold the dude? On. Who, who's the executive producer for Nickelodeon? Like back in the early like nineties or like two thousand uh, something. Uh, Brian Summers. No, that I don't was, know, that but was he's considered guy. like a pedophile or something. Oh, because I guess like Tommy he, Pickles, he was like the creative, like he was like the creative hand, like to all like Victoria and like iCarly and oh, and there's like super Dan like Snyder. Snyder. Dan, that guy. Yeah, no, he's, he's not a pedophile. Tommy Drake and Josh. Huh? He's not a pedophile. He has a so, foot fetish. Allegedly, because there's like super like sexual innuendos. Of course, you can't yeah. blame it on one person because there's obviously writers, like a whole team of writers. But I guess like. You would think he's the he's the one who oversees everything. He he watches the episodes. He watches it before like pre production, post production, and he approves everything. And there's like a lot of like fucking dark, dirty shit. Like I mean, anime. that's everywhere. If you think if you really dig, think like dark enough. He dig, told dig deep enough, especially with your new shovel. If you <laughs> so like, he told that Carly in a text message like, can you send me some pictures of your feet? Like, and so I could jerk off. He didn't say it so he could jerk off too, but he has like a foot fetish. For real? No, he didn't say that. I'm gonna look it up right now. Dan Schneider foot. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You you want to bet real money? Actual Frankenstein's? No, I, I'll bet you one anime Some dollar. heavy coins. Some heavy fucking so. bitcoins, dude. You ready to bet some? Some of that? that huh? Was, that was terrible. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Mindful. Take your feet out, bro. Take right your feet now. out, dude, so Dan Schneider can lick it. Yeah, we're gonna send Dan here. Schneider some fucking pics right now, dude. We're gonna we're gonna get him back. We're gonna entice him, and he's gonna fucking bring our Carly back. You dude. know, I think you guys and right. Victoria, dude. Did you guys hear that the original? And he's gonna make them do porn. The original uh, working titles for his shows, um, like Drake and Josh. It was Drake and Josh and Foot. <laughs> I call it. It was called. It was they're called, not called shows. They're called shovels. It was called I Foot originally. I and Foot. V- victorious. It was victorious. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I love. It. Victorious. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, dude. Hi, Carly. Yeah. <laughs> Toey 101. <laughs> That's great, dude. Man, I'm I'm a genius when it comes to thinking on my feet. <laughs> I'm quick. I'm quick with it like that. Oh my god, dude! Some people got the trigger right finger. Here. I just got the trigger foot. <clears throat> what are you finding over there, MCF? Uh, he's writing. He's 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 editing the Wikipedia page. So right here's here's, <laughs> the, here's here's the big, the next big Hollywood sex scandal is already breaking. Oh yeah, what year does this? What, what, At what Nickelodeon. Year this? this was year uh, October 24, 2017. Nah, it's old news, man. 
Can you guys do, can you guys, you know, I'm going to ask you guys to do something for me. So, I want you to be Harvey Weinstein and I want you to be the hot girl that he's begging to have sex with. You guys heard the tapes? No. You guys heard him, how desperate no. he sounds? Uh -uh. Really? Does he, does he like cry, does he like cry and sob and like beg and please? He's like, to, like She's like, no, I don't, I don't want to go. And then he's like, no, please, come on, just, just come on. You're embarrassing me. Please, just come in, come inside. Come on, just take a shower with me. Come on. Don't be Weinstein? silly. You're embarrassing me. Harvey Weinstein, he's like number one Jew of uh, Hollywood. Like, he runs Hollywood almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's basically like this big time, like, uh, he's not a director, but he's like, basically, he's the fucking bank behind, like, big time movies. Like he's the dude, he produces all kinds of big ass shit. Oh, that's cool. And he fuck he fucks all the starlets, like on the film. Like basically yeah. like the majority of like the women you see on these certain films, they got it from Harvey Weinstein. From having fucking sex with him. But yeah. now they're like, yeah, he pressured me into doing this. I said, come on, you got your shot. Hell yeah, dude. You got your big break. Yeah. You got your big money pay. So you wanted us to do that scene? But well, you guys never heard it, so it's cool. We'll make it up on the fly. So you're right. you're Harvey Wiener. Harvey Wiener. All right. <clears throat> no, I I I I I I I don't want to do this. Come on, babe. Come on. So many have done it no, before. You no, you, fu no, you fucking no, see. I, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. Scarlett like Scarlett Johansson. No, I I don't. I don't. You see her? I, fucking I, Black Widow. I I don't. I don't. I don't agree. I don't. I leave my country to get away from the pornography. I come here to have a career. And make a name for I got someone waiting outside right now. Someone outside right now. No, that will I, take I, I your need, you no, take no, your spot no, no, right no. now. I work, I work hard for my role. I work hard for my role. No, don't give it to anyone else. You well, you have to fucking you have to do certain things that you're not really comfortable no, with. No, no. But you, over time, you're gonna get used to it. And trust me, it's only gonna be me. No one else. It's just gonna be you and me, exclusive. You don't you you don't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Okay. <laughs> Do you, oh, do, you, yeah. do you think about that scene? Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> you guys actually want to hear the real one? Was that terrible? No, that was good. That was the real one. <laughs> you gonna play the clip? Yeah. How do you think it would sound if I just put it up to the mic? Sound good. Because I know podcasts do that, huh? Yeah. Like they just play it or whatever. <laughs> we don't even fucking care at this point. We're leaving every, <laughs> we're leaving every bit of audio in. They get everything unedited now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're lazy guys. Um, we're, not, we're not gonna edit things out because we don't want you guys to hear it. But fuck it. Harvey Weinstein. Um, I'm tired. Oh my god, I sounded just like that guy. Just sit with yeah, yeah, you're pretty good. Oh my god, that's gross. What does that say about me? You have a hard movie. Now. I'm gonna this guy. Wow, that guy must have had went to at least like 30 uh, massage parlors. Like, you could tell that guy had fucking. He, he won't he take a, no for an answer. Yeah, he went to a lot of massage parlors. Because at this point, he's already done everything with every big star. So it's. Oh, this is just normal day. In the, <laughs> this is a normal day in the office for him. I know, but yes, it was too much for me. Is that the actual video? This is like the tape. No, it's like a tape. Yeah, he's so desperate. And you know what? Corolla said something that was really funny. He was like, "This is the richest, most powerful guy in Hollywood, but for that what? For that two minutes, that girl, the little twenty-four-year-old." girl who has no education, she has, she has nothing, 
she's like she has all the power just uh-huh. because she's a hot girl like that's it but she made this guy beg her the most powerful guy in Hollywood beg her was this like was this at the height of his fucking his whole like him fucking doing what he did like all the nasty like no nah, his height was yeah, probably shit just, or was this like after he was exposed for being a fucking piece of shit no I'm pretty sure this is like that was I wonder why. if he always like he always had that that sort of like demeanor and that character about him when he tried to fuck all these women I think no, that was recently this is, this is that girl was in that's retaliation that's pathetic dude it's like, in retaliation any person for, can do that it's like in what he's doing yeah no it's in retaliation for uh the Jews setting Bill Cosby, setting him up like that, so, <laughs> so the Bill Cosby's people had to put this girl to set that guy up, man. That's uh-huh. true. That's true, man. That's fucking straight up truth. Damn. All right. So what do you guys want to do? I am going to go home and go to sleep. What time? Where are we at right All now? All right. It's probably like fifty something minutes. Fifty three minutes. Fifty three. You guys want to call it a night? Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, I love yeah. all of you guys, and uh, remember, if you guys need a checkup, I'm a gynecologist. Mm-hmm. I've been over 30 massage parlors, so I know a thing or two about <laughs> foreign objects <laughs> and uh, UVOs. So, so honestly, guys, if you're listening this Find far, find yourself into a 24 podcast, hour massage parlor and listen to this podcast. Yeah. Like, whenever you're at the massage parlor, just make sure you fucking listen to our podcast. You put this on. Put this on right rubbing here. Rubbing you down. I'm yeah. actually going to make a little offer our next 10 subscribers. Um, I'll put your names into a raffle and whoever's name I pull, I'll give a $25 Visa card to a massage parlor for. You're lying. I will do that. Don't I fucking would. lie. I will do that. That's a big thing. Yeah, I can do that. Girls? Yeah, I will. Fuck. All right, guys, that's a promise. So if you're listening, like girls, guys, girls. For that card giveaway. Peace. And he'll, he'll, he'll seal the little, the little envelope with his jizz. He won't lick it. He'll jizz on it and seal it. I might lick it. No, you'll lick it after you jizz on it. Yeah. All right, guys. This is Midori. Uh, I'll see you guys next time in the next podcast. This is Armageddon. And this is Dr. Gino, a.k.a. The Parlor. We're out. Laters. (laughs) Stop the fucking thing.